Hey church family, welcome back for day three of this week's study devotions. We're going to continue looking at the story of Lazarus and him being raised from the dead in John chapter 11. Just a reminder, if you have are with us today, but you've maybe missed the first few days of our daily devotionals, or maybe you've missed uh, the last month of them, you can find those on our church website uh, uh, under our media tab, or you can just go to our church YouTube page and find those on the daily devotional playlist. And then also, if you have missed our Connect Group videos that kind of kick off these daily devotionals, you can find those in the same locations, except it'd be on the Connect video uh, playlist. Really want to encourage you to engage with those if you haven't already. So, kind of continuing our conversation from yesterday, Martha has confronted Jesus with uh, why he didn't come, but she still has not denied his ability to do all things, his sovereignty. But we do see some doubt in her, uh, just because of her response to Jesus' statement. So she says to Jesus, you know, where were you? Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And yet even now, I know that if you ask anything of God, that it will be, that God will give it to you. And Jesus replies in John chapter 11, starting in verse 23, it says, Your brother will rise again, Jesus told her. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. And so uh, Jesus' reply is, hey, your brother's going to rise again. And and again, if if we know this story, then we know exactly what's about to happen. And we know that what Jesus is doing is just saying exactly what he's about to do. But Martha, even though she has said, hey, God, Jesus, I know that if you ask God for anything, that he'll make it happen. When Jesus says, your brother will rise again, Martha's response is not, all right, let's do this. It's, oh, I know he's going to rise one day, right? I know he's going to rise at uh, at the resurrection, right, at the last day. But Jesus isn't talking about that, is he? What Jesus is talking about is something that's great for that moment, right? The resurrection of the last day is going to be great, but he's going to give her a gift right now. And she, her mind wasn't open enough to see that. She, she wasn't thinking the way Jesus thought. Her mind wasn't, wasn't kind of looking at life from the perspective of, of, of Jesus. She was looking at life from the perspective of herself. And she was just thinking that Lazarus is going to be raised again on the last day. And I think that sometimes that can be a, a challenge for us as Christians. A lot of times we look at the world through our own eyes and we can misunderstand God's leading sometimes. And maybe go the wrong direction or, or believe he's do it, telling us to do one thing when he's telling us to do another. Um, because, because naturally we just look at the world from our own perspective and we have to learn to change that perspective. We have to learn to be open minded to, to what God has for us, right? We have to be willing to look and, and listen at, at everything that's going around in the world from the perspective of God, from a biblical, uh, worldview. And so a couple of questions that I want us to look at today to kind of explore that idea. The first one is, when have you misunderstood something that God has said? Has there ever been a time that you felt God's leading in something, but you misunderstood what it was he was leading you to do? And then the second question, how can we make sure to be open-minded enough to hear from God, but not so open as to be led astray by false teaching? How can we firm up our foundation in the Lord and in what he says to where we are open-minded to what he's He's given us, but we aren't led astray by false teachers. Uh, take a moment, uh, turn the video off, discuss that as a family. Um, and uh, again, looking forward to continuing to engage with you throughout this week. Uh, more than anything, church family, I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you. Thank you.